Hey everyone, Kara here with the Barn Church and Ministries in Berrien Springs, Michigan. Today's episode of Reload, let's talk about a core value that we have here at the barn. Uh, it's making space for God's presence. His presence changes literally everything. And when people become aware of his presence and are allowed to bask in it for as long as he wants, they change. His presence heals, his presence delivers, his presence gives hope. It helps you know that you're loved. I mean, all the things. It is paramount that people stop putting time limits on his presence and start letting him do what he needs to do in people's heart so that his purposes and his plans reign. Because you see, an, in, an invasion of God's presence brings transformation to entire cities and regions. And that's what the church is called to do, to transform cities and regions. And isn't that what we want? Don't we want to see our cities and regions transformed by the power of God's presence and his love? Yes, yes we do. <laughs> because then when that happens, the kingdom of God will advance and the enemies will be retracting, which is what we need, right? It'll spread his presence will spread, the power of his love will spread. And instead of talking about how terrible our nation is and how far away from God it has walked, we will be talking about the amazing thing God did last night or the week before, and we won't be able to shut up about him. And that is what will bring more people to him. People need to see his transformative power in their life, all around them, in their church, in their communities, and how it has changed you. See, when they see the change in you, they are going to want that too. And then they will be encouraged that, man, if you can change because of him, if his presence can change you and all the stuff that you've done in your past and God can use you, then they will know God can use me too. Even though I've done all of this stuff in the past, even though I've made all these mistakes, God can still use me. His presence is transformative and it is what is required to change our lives. But it says in Psalm 73, 28, says, but for me, it is good to be near God. I have made the Lord my refuge that I may tell of your works. It's good to be near God, to acknowledge his presence. It's good and it helps us tell the world of all that he has done. Because that's what we need to brag about. We need to brag about him, not us. We don't need to brag about our church or what we've done. None of us can do nothing without him and his presence. Psalms 61 11 says, you make known to me the path of life. In your presence, there is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. There is fullness of joy in his presence. Don't we want that? And maybe, maybe if his presence was able to reign more and to reign longer, people would be less depressed. People would be less oppressed if his presence just hung around, if his presence was truly welcomed, if his presence was free to do what it needed to do in people's lives and hearts to change them. God wants to heal the hearts of people, but they have to allow his presence to take as long as he needs for that to happen. It really is a choice. His goal is not for you to be stuck in a cycle of destruction. His goal is for his presence to heal you and change you and bring you joy. Who can argue with that? Who wouldn't want that? Of course we want that. His presence should be the priority. His presence is what started the early church. It left, it, 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 it uh, kept going for hundreds of years. And his presence is what we need today. Why it hasn't been allowed to reign in the way that it needs to can be contributed to a lot of factors. But mostly I think it boils down to fear. Because if we let his presence do what he wants in our lives or in the lives of our church, what if people think it's weird? What if people make strange noises? What if weird things happen? Or what if we lose control? That's the big word here, right? People and don't want to lose control. But I'm telling you, who cares if we lose control? Because the truth is, if you think you have control, you really don't. Because only God does. If your church... Um, thinks it has control. It doesn't. God does. If you're commun it, God is in control. His, 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 he holds the whole world in his hands. So I am encouraging you press into his presence. Don't be afraid to let it rain. Don't be afraid to let him do whatever he wants to do. And second Chronicles seven fourteen. I know this is very widespread, uh, well-known verse, especially in the last couple of years. If my people who are called by name, my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and I will heal their land. 
repent. Repent for not making his presence a priority. Trust me, when you do and you begin to allow his presence to do what it needs to in your life and in your church and in your community, you will not regret it. It will change your life and it'll change the life of those around you. And in time, it'll change your communities. It'll change your cities and it'll change your regions. And that's what we need to take the world back for Jesus. So that's all I have for now. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok at The Barn Ministries or our uh, website at thebarn.church. We'll see you next week.